So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch an episode of Boy Meets World season two. I don't know the number of the episode, but I believe the title is Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Corey? So let's just get straight into it. October the 31st, All Hallows Eve. I, Corey Matthews, for tonight at precisely nine o'clock, eight central, when the moon shines full, the werewolf. So in this uh, episode, Corey thinks he's becoming a Corey? werewolf. I like that intro because um, it gives you like a 1950s vibe horror I'm movie. I'm more than usual. The change in the wolfdom is upon me. Hey, Gore. You ready for the Halloween party? Please, I have no time for such thing. Guess where I'm going, ass. Okay, I'll give you a hint. Wow, Sean, I wish I was as cool as you. I'm sure I have no idea. <laughs> I'm going as you. He's definitely dressed like Pretty Corey. Like, huh? I'm not going. But you have to go. No, I have to stay here. What Sean wearing that that here, uh no, I, I that wig reminds sick. me of when Harley kind of sister Teresa call him Brillo head. Gonna make your move, huh? <laughs> if I do, it'll be on all fours. Sean, I am one of the undead creatures of the night. Something's bothering you, isn't it? <laughs> what I'm about to tell you it, it is so bizarre. No one in their right mind would believe it. Then I'm your guy. So this is where I think he. Be taking you know that's crazy. With you. Living to. next to your. I'm starting to move. Your teacher. It seems that a wolf escaped. Imagine from living next to your principal. Authorities believe that it may be somewhere in our area. Wolves have a keen sense of smell. The garbage would only attract them. So your plan is to lure them into your living room, and that's when I heard the rustling. Hello. This is the part where Eric? he thinks he gets bitten by a wolf. Eric and a girl? Morgan? There's no way you were bitten by a wolf. Uh, Sean, what else could it have been? Look at the bite. Of course you don't. Everybody knows werewolf bites heal overnight. Oh, wow, then. You're, You're covered. covered in them. So you're really turning into a werewolf. I didn't think so until I woke up this morning. What you're about to see may shock you. Then put a towel on. Okay, look. Oh my God, I don't see anything at all. I've got hair on my chin, on my chest, and other places I don't see where having hair on is really gonna help me. You're right. So what this episode is really about is puberty. You're going through puberty. At least that's one explanation. Eric, don't start with me, I'm on the edge, okay? I don't want to alarm you or anything, but I think you might be turning into... Dun, dun, dun. A werewolf. Ever heard of a kid turning into a werewolf? I'll read this. Siamese twins eat their way to freedom. I guess that's supposed to be like the National Teenage Enquirer. Teenage werewolf probed by top scientists. Mm -hmm. Kid was on a camping trip, got bitten by something he didn't get a good look at. Kind of like you. Like Back in this time in the nineties, because I was a six a young teenager in the nineties. Whenever we would read something friends. like in a National <laughs> Enquirer right, or some listen, magazine, we just automatically anymore, okay? thought it was true. I'm not a werewolf. I am not. A werewolf. They say the first sign's denial. Corey? All right, I'm a hairy mess. Get out your apple lady and just do me. What's an apple lady? No, sweetheart, I was just gonna say don't forget your lunch. It's okay, I'll kill something at school. Sean, it's more than just hair. I've got strange new urges. I wonder how cold the water is on Baywatch. And I've also never seen Baywatch either. Jeez. Whatever you got, you got it bad. Yeah, and I didn't know how bad until lunchtime. Any special flavors? Yeah, we got bucket of blood that's like strawberry. And we got smashed and severed intestines. I don't recommend that. The lady they're about to show, she's like a fortune teller. I wish she was a reoccurring, um, a, a reoccurring character on this show. But I think she's only in this episode. Isn't that silly? Isn't it? There are things and there She's are She's about to come up right now. There are places where such things are revealed. Come with me, werewolf boy. Come to me, werewolf boy. How did you know? I know many things. I know you are now becoming a wolf. 
I know you are recently divorced. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're not Billy Joel? I think this is when Billy Joel cheated on his yeah, model but wife. People turning into wolves? That doesn't happen. It's just one of those myths. Myth? <laughs> Your body is about to go Wolfie. through many changes. You will develop the appetite of the wolf, a taste for things you've never eaten before. You know what? You're nutty. I don't think I believe a thing you say. I'm nutty. You're 30 minutes late to your English class. And your underpants are riding up your tuchus. That's amazing. We just got to this part where this really cool but angry teacher gives this sweaty kid three days detention for If I was this late for like a high school class, I would have got detention for like two weeks. Tortured a fellow named Yogi Tyler? What you writing? What you eating? You will develop the appetite of the wolf. A taste for things you've never eaten before. Anything I remember in this part, he's like, going. the Pentagon or the Pentagram? The sign of the Pentagram will appear in your hand. The, the Pentagon or the Pentagram? Same difference. Thanks. Hello. If something's wrong, you can tell me. You will kill the one girl who cares for you. Listen to me. You can't care for me, okay? If you do, only harm will come to you. It'll never work out between the two of us. Get a grip. We're only going to a Halloween party. Yeah, that's how it starts. Then we get married, have kids, and I eat them. Think of me as I was. Mr. Matthews, no running in the hole. Ow! I just Anyone realized that this whole no, episode is kind of like the a flashback episode. One. Since you're going through this change, um, can I have your autograph, Lenny Dykstra ball? Not my ball! Corey, you don't need it. You're a wolf. I can still fetch. On the off chance that you are turning into this werewolf, why don't we head down to the drugstore? If they got stuff that can take the stash off my mother, they've got to have something for you. <laughs> Madame Uspinskaya, everything you predicted has come true. Can I use you as a Mind reference? If I use you for a reference? <laughs> I, I found out there is a girl who cares for me, just like you said. Oh. I know. You will not kill her till the moon is full. You gotta help me. Isn't there an antidote or something? That's easy. Wear a garlic necklace and get back in your coffin. No, I'm not a vampire. He's not a, a vampire. Werewolf. Tomatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> as long as you're not my son. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taking your running shoes. <laughs> you don't have four of a kind. There's really no point. Corey, Bang is here. Swear by everything holy that you'll do everything in your power to keep that poor innocent girl from a terrible. <laughs> I'll just leave you two alone. Have a good time. Hi, Corey. Topanga, I warned you not. To... Oh boy, why'd you have to wear that? So they're about to kiss, but I right. believe Look, that this is their I second kiss person. because in season like one, she grabs him up, up against a locker and kisses him. But Corey, I don't understand. Listen, everything you need to know is in here. If it's ever published, I'd like the royalties to go to the ASPCA. The moon! When the moon is full, you will kill the one who cares for you. It's too late! Okay, look at me. Tell me what you see. I see you. Uh, no, you don't. You, you see hair and teeth and the beast within me. I see Cory. The same Corey I've known since That's I was three. Now he's gonna kiss her. I'm not a wolf. I'm not a wolf. I'm not a wolf. Yes, you are. Ow! And that was Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Corey, season two of Boy Meets World. So, check you on the next video. Peace.